All right, so one thing I love to check on vehicles is the acceleration when cruising up onto the interstate, and that's kind of what we're doing right now. Right now, going about 48 mile per hour, as you can see there on my speedometer, and uh, just cruising along here. Let's go ahead and put our blinker on, give it some acceleration. Feeling good, got up to speed really quickly. I mean, already over 60 mile per hour. Go ahead and get over into the next lane. Um, right now I have my blind spot monitoring system activated and also um, my lane watch, uh, front and rear sensors are activated. So all that good stuff is activated right now while we're cruising on the interstate. And basically as I get closer to vehicles, there should a vehicle should pop up on that display and we'll get to that in just a moment. All right, so it's showing me right now there's a vehicle pretty much directly in front of me, which I can kind of tell, <laughs> it's right there in front of me. There's a light on showing me that the blind spot is activated. If you can see that, see no one's in my blind spot right now, so it went back off. Now, what I'm gonna show you right now is that the lane watch is definitely working, okay? Hands are off the steering wheel. I'm gonna have to probably test this when we go around another corner here in just a second, but you'll notice the steering wheel will start moving itself and keeping me in the lane. Which definitely feels a bit spooky, <laughs> or it feels a little scary doing this for the first time, but um, let's watch and see what happens going around the corner. I mean, I will grab the wheel if something crazy happens, but watch that steering wheel as we go around this corner. Look at this. Lane assist, please take over steering. Okay, so that's too hard of a turn for it to handle. And that steering wheel is doing a good job of keeping me in line here. As you can see, it is definitely doing a great job going around these corners. You can really feel the steering wheel kind of tilting and moving and keeping the vehicle in control. All right, let's see how it does around this corner here. Nope, it's not gonna pull you through a turn like that right there, okay? So just wanted to show you that. All right, so as you can see there, I got it set on 20 mile per hour down there on the bottom. So I don't think it's gonna stop the vehicle to a complete stop, but I got my foot off the, off the brake and it's slowing it down, slowing it down. And yeah, you're gonna have to hit the brake, okay? There's no, it's not gonna stop it completely there for you. Okay, so just wanna point that out. Now, as you can see right now, as I'm sitting here stopped, the engine has pretty much shut off. As you can see here with this blue, see how that right down there? I noticed when I got to a complete stop, that went whoop like that. And um, now when my foot comes off the brake a little bit and I nudge, it goes like that. See, it, it knows that I'm, so, now that my foot's kind of came off the brake while I'm sitting here at the stoplight, the engine has basically uh, engaged itself. But what I'm thinking right now, and I may be wrong, but what I'm thinking is that when you're driving and you're going, you know, 15, 20 miles an hour and you, you come to a stop at a stoplight and then you stop the car, the engine will shut off and, uh, and save on fuel consumption and things like that.